One, two, three, four, five. All right, hello everyone. Are you ready to take out Velius for real now? Because I sure am. Last time we had some good attempts at it. But we weren't quite able to do it. I've explained the strategy. I've explained everything. You know what we're trying to do? Is it just going to be continuation from last time? Except somewhere in here, hopefully, we get a victory. So this is part, like, 20... No, 38, 9, somewhere around there. So, but seriously, I want Velius dead. I want his goat head on a platter. I wonder what would happen if we got into the water after he ran out of collapses and we had our jade armlet on, would he be guaranteed to loss us? Because he couldn't seal us when we got the jade armlet, and he couldn't summon because no MP. Or would he just be like standing around all like, I can't do anything? That would be funny. Why did that random curiosity get to come upon me? I don't know, just more things we could try. There's still a lot we could experiment with in this battle. I think we have a winning strategy, so I don't want to like change it up. I just want to work the system. So, yeah. I don't know, maybe I should try the Lost Strategy. I still never went back to that video where we did get lost to see exactly how I moved. Actually, I might end this video and I just go check. After this one attempt, I'll do that. If this happens to be, ironically, the winning strat. Then... We won't even have to use loss. But I want to try loss a few times just to see if when he comes with the 318 or comes with the 269 clopses, if he doesn't choose the clops and he'll just stand around like a dummy. Gotta move first. I'll just move back in this place so Ramsey doesn't have to walk around after she leaves. Because I care about his something. Running away? Show yourself. Oh, why grant? I guess it doesn't say show yourself. Come out of here. Geronimo! Who translated that into this game? <laughs> like, does anyone ever say that? Ever? Aside from jumping out of plane, which is the stereotypical time people say that. Which I'm not quite sure why they say that. Maybe I'll go Google that for some, just for random trivia knowledge. This battle really would be easier if we didn't have arcade demons. Of course, they're expecting you to have a whole team. So it's supposed to be even when you have a team, so... Alright, let's see. Bad compat, good faith. Neutral compat, good faith. Bad compat, bad faith. So we want this guy out of the way. Is he good compat or neutral? I like... No, he's neutral. Shoot.
third shot puts that guy in critical one health away from death. So we eat the clocks. Put that guy in critical. And then potion ourselves. No auto potion, which means we elixir ourselves, not being one. Who's bad? His clocks is gonna be a little more painful. I'm not gonna worry about trying to take out the other arcade demons. It would take too long. I hate having to use our fail safe so early, but as long as auto potion works later on, we're going to back. Billius moves in, collapses once again. They move in, can't do anything. I think I'm gonna, what is it, wait in place, eat the dark hole, and then Billius comes in for a physical. I think that's what we wanted. Yeah, potion and then wait in place. We're only going to be focusing attacks on Thelius from now on. Potion, wait in place. That was Clops 2, by the way. Clops 2. Moves in, Dark Holy. 139, Bad Compat. Even with Good Faith, that's pretty low Dark Holy. So I'm not worried about this Bad Compat, Bad Faith guy. Clops number 3. Chooses that over the low dark holy and the low. So if this doesn't auto potion, you die. Alright, auto potion, we're good. Guys, it's gonna take, I guess, three shots, right? Where are we at? Full health. Could I shoot, wait in place, eat the clops, and then push them away? I might as well shoot, move, eat the clops, item. I'll double turn this guy, but not that guy. But I said I wouldn't focus on them at all. So, there's no reason in wasting. CT putting damage on them. So we're just moving weight. And then we're gonna item and wait. Clops three. Auto potion. Very good. I think if we miss an auto potion, we die. His dark holder. 20. Bad, 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 bad faith. Phileas cannot get to us, I don't think. Yeah. He comes in with a giga player or a light player. Guy's fat head is in the way. Bastard. Yeah, we can survive the clops. Assuming this guy is gonna get a turn. If it doesn't, if one of their attacks don't auto potion, we die. So we're relying very heavily on auto potion. Bellius in for Clops 4. He does a Giga Flare. So Giga. Ideally, both of these will auto push in and. 
good, good, good. That didn't auto potion, like I said. Yeah. Clops number four. Hopefully this auto potion next turn we will move into the back left corner, equip change to our jade armor. Didn't it? This guy goes, that guy goes, this guy goes. Frickety frick frick frickin' frickers. We're going to push in, wait in place. We're gonna turn our back so that Bellius comes to punch us. And hopefully he does not seal us. So, potion. Turn our back to this side here. Wait, please. And this guy, get the flare. This needs to auto potion or we die. Once again, heavily relying on auto potion. I do not like it one bit. Very scared. We survived all the collapses though. All right, auto potion. Punch us, Velius. It is imperative that you do this. It is imperative. Oh, double turn, double turn. Chain armlet. I need you. All right, this is going very well. Jade armor. Council's petrified. Very important. And I don't know what you please. Guilds for the physical. 171. So that's his lowest punches. Good. <clears throat> He's just gonna stay there, critical. He's gonna do his life bringer thingy because he doesn't wanna. Oh. Fancy with that Giga Flare, are you? But waiting in place and shooting, we should be able to make sure that we don't get all three of them attacking us at once. And 170, was it 171 was his punch? Let's see. Let me talk about that. So as long as two of them go, and we auto-potion one of them, we should be okay. Should I go for them? I'm tempted to now. Because three shots put them in critical. Yeah, I'm going to start going double turn that guy, so two shots. So we're just going to wait in place here, and start, we're going to take out the other arcade demons. He's going to punch, he's just going to solely punch. Ouchies, no auto potion. Both of them are going to go. I can't double turn even if I just potion and wait, so, I don't. Auto potion, wait in place. Auto potion is gone off. Whatever. T moves, Giga flares me. So, if all things go well, we should be. What's with auto potion? Well, I mean. It's kind of okay that you're not going on the potion, but like, I, I would feel much better if you did. I definitely would feel much better if you went off auto potion. Thank you. See, both of them went off and one auto potion, we're back to full health. Or, close enough to full health that. Three shots and he's critical, so one more shot. We double turn him. We double turn him. So we're gonna face Bellius, force him to move. And we'll double turn both of them. Put that guy in critical. Although he's gonna move in front of me, so now I can't shoot that guy. And no auto potion, that's bad. I don't like not auto potioning the punches. Because it's 70 and 63 from there. Whatever's. 
see, I don't want to go over the level cap, though. Is my stupid wanting to stay by the rules going to make me... Because he has a 70 Giga Flare and a 61, I think it was, 60-something. Let's see how much 70 plus... We'll just assume it's 70, 140. So technically, we can survive both of them. It's just, will we double turn Bellius? Because if we don't, we die. Or if even one of those auto potions will be at that health again. No, I need the potion. I can't risk it. If we go to 51, sorry guys, but... I don't care. I mean, I didn't break the rules too bad. You all understand, right? I mean, if we can get through the rest of this battle, but we don't need to auto -po or we don't need to potion, we might be able to do it. Yeah, see, I just didn't want to risk it. We probably could have, but oh, life breaker! I said life breaker. When I was talking about that. It was good. I didn't. I. I... So yeah, we're going over 51. We broke the rules. Sorry, guys. I know. Sad day, sad day. Those are three shots? You're supposed to be in critical, you jerk. You're physically? You people are weird. Do they have counter? They do. Genuinely sorry, guys, about going to 51, but... Oh, what? What are you doing? What? What, what move is that? No! No! Are you kidding me? Damn it. Alright, so apparently that Lifebringer move is based on their health. And the less health they have, the more damage it does. That would have been nice to know. I'm seriously pissed, because we had that. So... <sighs> Gay as hell. Well, that's just one more thing to worry about. It's good that we know. No reason to get too depressed. something more we know. But seriously, we had that. We survived the four collapses and everything. It was perfect. But see, just solely having 269 collapses is what got us through that battle. Even though we didn't have an ideal setup for anything else. Of course, them having bad faith helped quite a bit. So, if we can get them down in two shots, or one of them down in two shots, we could probably just start putting damage on Bellius immediately. I mean, before it was just potioning and tanking all the collapses. I'm still depressed about that freaking Lifebringer. I didn't know that move was like that. I would have been far more cautious about shooting them. Should've just gone for Velius. Should've just gone for Velius. And then auto potion the. Cause he even had the 171 punches. I'm so mad. So mad.
there. We had it. We survived the collapses. That's the hardest part. We got past the hardest part and then lack of knowledge about something else caused us to die. It's a good thing to know about that move though, which makes us want to be more cautious about getting close to the guys in critical... Today's just not my day. Frickin... Gay ass. Alright. No, we had a good run though. We can, we can get another one. I know we can. I'm not gonna let myself get depressed. As much as I wanna just rage quit and not try for a little while. I have the time to do this. We are going to get freaking Velius down. We can do this. That goat bastard. Everything was going perfectly. We got our jaded armlet on. He was only physicaling. No losses. It was perfect. It was perfect. Perfect, I say. Perfect. Alright. But you saw. You saw how it worked. 269 Clopses. Bad faith. We can do this. I'm gonna keep my little calculator up in case we need to calculate more numbers. Um, I'm still so mad. Dang it! We had that battle, but we had it. It was in our hands. Even after we get all the collapses, we, there are still things that can go wrong. And if auto potion doesn't like work like a charm, then we probably will eventually go past level 50. Unfortunately, very sad, but I don't care. I mean, if I really cared, I could go back and level down to say like 49, and then go the of Aang's battle again. Hopefully not getting a potion. A high potion. And then we would be back here at 49. So we would not have that problem. But I'm just saying one measly... You are a douche. You know that way, Griff. I mean, come on. Come on. I just started talking about how I want to save XP and not have to potion myself. And you go and do it critical, like a jerk. You're a jerk, boy, Griff. And you can't say I'm a jerk just because I killed your sister, because she... Uh, we gave her the opportunity to run, and she still came after us. Although you don't care about that now anymore, now that you're combined with the goat demon with four arms. But still, you're jerk. Stop critical hit. I need the critical hits. Well, if we ever get into that position again where he no longer has collapses, only physical and there are two archaic demons, I'm just going to shoot Velius and potion when needed. Not waste time trying to put them in critical and get them away so I don't have to worry about auto pursuit. Because with my speed at 10, they'll never get all three of them turning at the same time. It was perfect! It's freaking perfect! Freaking perfect, man. Freaking perfect. It was ruined. If we had just gone for Velius, we could have just potioned when needed. 
taking the damage. They were low. It was... Alright. Neutral. Decent fate. Bad compat. Good fate. Bad compat. Good fate. Bad compat. Good fate usually aren't bad. The neutral good fate needs to go. So shoot him. Wait. Shoot him again. Freaking had that, man. Like, seriously. Okay, good, good. This is gonna be the fast arcade game. I think we had the slower one out of the battle last time. So Clops goes off. We are coaching in their game. And then we put the guy in front of the potion and run away. Got the hint. Good job. Elixir fail safe in case Potion or auto potion doesn't work. That's what it's there for. We don't want to use it now though. Good job. <laughs> Maybe if I just talk to the game it'll give me my auto potions. So potion. We're gonna wait in place. We'll get Cyclops number three. And then we're gonna eat some dark holies. I'm just going to do one more attempt and I'm just going to say screw it for today. Or maybe try some of the law strategy, go look up what we need to do for that. Actually, I'm just going to go check the law strategy now, so. I hope you like my almost success turned into failure because of my lack of knowledge, because I sure enjoyed it. <laughs>